Right, here we are, question 13. It's a nice standard form question. It says to work out, well, it's got two numbers in standard form and we're multiplying them. And it asks our answer to be back to given in standard form. So I think these multiply ones are quite easy. Um, and the same thing, the similar concept, very similar concept works for, for divide, but this is a, a times question. So I'm going to take the number parts. So I'm just going to do 6 times 4, excuse me, which is 24. And then I'm going to do the powers of 8, uh, powers of 10 bit. 10 to the power of 8 times 10 to the power of 7, which is 10 to the power of 15. So putting that together, I get the answer 24 times 10 to the power of 15. However, it says we've got to give our answer in standard form. So, this number is not between 1 and 10. So I'm going to have to divide this number by 10 to give me 2.4. But to keep this number balanced, because I'm dividing the 24 by 10, I'm going to multiply this part of the number by 10. So that becomes 10 to the power of 16. So that number is now in standard form. So I've just done the simple multiplication just checked in standard form and done a modification of it. So I divided this one by 10 times this one by 10, so you get 2.4 times 10 to the power of 16. Uh, adding and subtracting is, isn't any more difficult. There's a slightly different method you can use. There's, there's a couple of different things you can do, but I tend to just write them out. So 6 times 10 to the power of 8 is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. Let's just check the decimal point. Uh, so it would be here. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. Yeah, that's right. So then uh, 4 times 10 to the power of 7. It means the 4 is going to be there. And then I'm lining up all these zeros as best as I can. Adding them. And then you can see I'm going to get 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0. zero. And then I'm going to get a 4 and a 6. So all we've got to do now is convert this back to standard form, which is 6.4. And then work out what the decimal point is. It's going to move 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. So times 10 to the power of 8. And then we're done.